Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Saints stream. We have more Steval North Valorant. It's going to be another good one. It's our St. Clair College varsity team versus University of Wisconsin Stout. Two very good teams. And I must say, though, St. Clair College has been on a roll. But before we get into the review of the games we've done so far, once again, I'm your host for today, Matthias, also known as Mothize, and I'm also joined by Theo the Holy Juan. Hello, hello. Uh, it's a great Sunday night, uh, Sunday day, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, one, just one game today for us on the schedule. We just have our varsity team uh, playing, so should be a fun game, and I can't wait to get into it. Yeah, it's looking to be a very good game. They've just been on an absolute tear uh, every single weekend. It seems like they've won at least, well, by two O's most of the time. A yeah. few two ones, I think, here and there, but you know, mainly two O's are what they've been experiencing so far. So it's looking to be continue to be that, but we never know. I think last time we played Wisconsin Stout, St. Clair did have a have a have a overwhelming victory, but you know, teams change. It's been a while. So maybe Wisconsin Stout has really gotten down in the weeds, did the training and they'll put up a good fight. Yeah, as you said, from what we know, our Saints are just been, have been very very dominant in these early games of Sea Valley and they've just been running through the opposition so hopefully today they can have another great performance and really show us how it's done yeah i've just i'm wondering if they're gonna i think they'll just do the standard strats that they've been doing i've seen them experiment a little bit here and there and once again the outlaw is still Bad. not in play uh we saw, saw some <laughs> stuff here and there but we won't bring that up but we'll see it very soon though i feel like it was released a little bit earlier this month so maybe early next month we'll finally see it in play and uh that'll, that should shake up uh the meta quite a bit once once that releases well what we saw from our saints was they played the four duelist comp yesterday so i'm wondering if we're gonna get to see another comp like that where they just decide to full rush a site for a whole half and just take a dominant lead and just snowball from there yeah, it's seeming like being overly aggressive right now is the play for the Saints because I think when they're up against teams they're confident against, confident against those super aggressive plays really tend to pay off because if you can take the gamble of being a little bit more aggressive, overextending a little bit, if you can make that pay off, that's an extra kill or two off the board and now the team that already had the odds stacked against them now has to play 3v4 or or even less if it works better than that because Caillou over and over seems to be getting these multi-kills early game. Uh, in the last game, I think he was playing uh, uh, Phoenix, yeah. and he got like multiple 4Ks consistently each round. So <laughs> the St. Clair varsity team, that's just one of the many great players. Giza as well, always on fire. But that's just a few of the players. I'm just excited to get into it. So I'm going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with the game. And welcome back, everybody, to University of Wisconsin Stout versus St. Clair College here in Seaval North. Here we are, St. Clair starting on attack. It looks like Wisconsin is on defense. We have Giza on Reyna, Smiley on Brimstone, Seth on the Viper, Caillou on the Fade, and Instinct on the Rays. And on the enemy team of Wisconsin, we have Uphase on Brimstone, Breezy on Viper, D. Young on Rays, and I believe that is Wrangle on Sky, and that last name's, uh, I can't quite read it just yet, but that's going to be a Chamber on their team, which is an interesting pick, because Chamber is not as often picked 
as the champs on the side of the Saints. But once again, you're like you said, Theo, they're going for the double duelist. Yeah, and that's tools in the bottom left on that chamber. The double duelist lineup does come out for St. Clair. Uh, they've been picking up this Reyna in the, these early round games to really try and push their mechanical skill to the limits and just... The Reyna pick is the best mechanical champ you could have. You just need to find those shots, find the, those kills, and that's your only job. You don't need no smokes. You have those flashes, but you mostly use those for yourself anyway. So it's an interesting pickup by St. Clair College. But uh, the Chamber is also Ooh, an interesting one. Not something you <laughs> see too much on Bind. And you don't see much anywhere, really. But even a map like Bind, I mean, I could see the Operator being used on some longer sight lines, but... I think there's definitely some maybe a little bit better picks for that position. Yeah, Chamber is an interesting pick. I guess it's a little bit of a more defensive pick. They're trying to get some rounds in the early game here. Whereas the Saints are just going full attack here. And like you said, Reyna is just an absolute, absolute uh, snowball of a champ. Because you just get that first few picks started and then the ball gets rolling and it's just impossible to stop. And we're seeing the Saints all pick ghosts. A little bit more of a split buy coming out from the side of no University target. of Wisconsin Stout. That Chamber looks like he hasn't bought anything, but you know he's buying the rounds for his uh, little hand cannon there. Without a doubt, that hand cannon is just an amazing weapon. Has this long sight lines, has four shots on it, so it's going to look for an early pick here. But it is going to be the Saints on attack, and I think they're going to look to push this A sight very, very quickly. They decide to leave the spike behind, actually, so going to decide to play it a bit slow, that Viper. <laughs> Viper. A little bit of a miss a there. A bit of a miss there. Lineup not quite perfect. Hopefully they figure out that it's wrong before the end of the match. Hopefully it doesn't land there every single round, but let's see how the Saints decide to push this attack. Decide to leave the spike in the spawn still. There's going to be the nade coming up from Instant. Forces D Young to rotate over. And it's going to be the push coming in here. Seth able to find the first pick onto D Young. Are they going to check? the corner there. There's nobody there. If they decide to walk through here, should have a lot of space to work with. Everybody's rotating over. St. Clair College, though, taking a lot of space on the site now. They're going to look for a plant. Now is the best time to do so. There's going to be some challenges coming out here. This plank is great from a couple of Saints oh, members. Seth smoke. Picks one up through the smoke. It's going to peek the corner into the chamber. That's his third. Smiley's able to take one out in front of him. It's going to be all up to the last member, Breezy, on this Viper. Can't get anything done. And Instinct clears, up, clears him up for the flawless First round victory for St. Clair College. Yeah, great start there. Flawless victory. I cannot believe how well they played there. They just flooded in. They're all synced up there, especially with how Seth got those two classic kills, but Smiley was there to back him up with the third. As soon as he ran out of bullets, his team was there to clutch that one up. I just have to feel bad for Breezy because especially in those early game, or early rounds, or Bristol round, the first round, you only have so much money and they invest in that smoke orb. And and it's just just so hopefully going for forward, we can get these. Yeah, here we are off to the second round. St. Clair do have the gun advantage, so they're going to look to push this A site yet again. Seth chose not to buy anything, actually standing on that ghost. Toodle's going to walk up here with this uh chamber hand cannon, there. Can hand cannon there you go but everybody's rotating over here that's a nice little nade there but kayo is gonna take out d young early and here comes the push from the saints there's gonna be the fade using all her base toodles in a very very nice <laughs> spot here i don't know if they spot him out but oh. they do eventually instinct takes him out 5v3 now for the saints as giza takes down you phase five on two spike should be going down any second now and it's all up to these last two members from Wisconsin to really get something done. Nice shots there from Inkston. Takes a wangle. It's a one on five situation for Breezy again. And it's a tough one to bring back, to say the least. He does have the pistol, but even getting one kill would be good for him. Seth here is going to peek the corner. Finds the shot there. And another flawless round for our Saints. Very, very good start to this first map. It's not so easy for Breezy right now as things are not looking good. Getting team wipe after team wipe. But now they finally have some money in their hands. They're going to invest in the Vandals. And it looks like this guy's going to invest more. Or no, they're going to forego the shields, buy some abilities, I think. And try and open some stuff up for their team. And it's looking like this is going to be the deciding round. If they lose this round, the Saints are going to be on a non-stop rampage. Because they're going to have their ults ready if they get too many kills this round. But here we are. It looks like they're going for a split push a little bit through bathroom right now. Fade sending out the cat there, looking to find anything with the Prowler. Toodles holding it down, holding down the smoke. No one's going to be there, though, as the rest of the Saints look to rotate a main while the other two roam 
R rotate B long right now. SF lays up the smokes here. Will he check U-Haul as D Young is right here in the corner? He's waiting for any pass through. He can't see through the orb. If he only knew, he'd take the shot. But it's down now, and he gets the shot, and that's going to be Seth going down. That's the first pick going out for Wisconsin Stout there. That's the first kill of the game for them. A nice little energy booster, but now the push onto B comes out from the Saints. They're going to get the spike down very, very early, and Gizo on this Reyna trying to move up. There's all four members of Wisconsin just rotating over. If Gizo can get a nice little angle here, could go crazy. There's going to be a challenge onto the Viper. Breezy does go down. But Giza's going to choose to place one more passive. He's going to choose to play in the corner. Now he's going to swing out. Going to find one. Going to find a second. Going to find all four members with the help of Caillou and Inkstain. Just like that in the blink of, a, of your eyes. Everybody from University of Wisconsin Stout falls down. And that is the third round going over St. Clair College. Now they will have a monumental economic advantage in this game. They're going to be able to fall by for basically at least a couple more rounds and Wisconsin just don't have any firepower in this next round. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try and go for a little bit of a thrifty here, buying some shares, buying some friends. He's trying to get any, a little bit of an advantage they can. And Breezy looking for the lineup once again. Will they hit it? They need to because they're going to need any advantage they have going forward. And it looks like Breezy does land it there, perfectly landed near the default plant, and now the round has started. It looks like the Saints going for an overwhelming B push right now. Three going B long, two going B hookah right now. And Giza creeping up around B long right now, trying to clear the angle right now. Breezy is end up a snake fight there. It's not gonna do much as they just barrel on through. Giza finds one, will he find the other? Yes, he oh. does not, as Wrangle gets one, but Seth is there to clean up as the rest of Wisconsin needs to rotate down a spike. He's playing. Great start again for St. Clair College. They do lose Giza, but all four members are still alive. It's going to be a very hard one for University of Wisconsin Stout to come back from. They don't really have any weapons or much utility to push through these Saints, and they're set up so perfectly. So many crossfires. They're going to try and move out onto the site now. St. Clair are giving them that, but they're playing for the spike. Toodles is going to take down Seth, and the spike is halfway defused by Kayo and Inkstain. They're able to find one. It's all up to you, phase but he gets taken down by Smiley's Brimstone Molly, and that is going to be a team ace, a 4-0 lead for St. Clair College, and they're just looking so, so strong in this first half. I just, I just must applaud the teamwork as well. Everybody's covering a different angle. There's so much trust between the team at St. Clair. They can make sure that their backs are being watched by their teammates. Just enables them to take so many interesting angles. And they just have so much confidence going forward as well. But we're seeing Toodles opt for the op here. It'll hold that a main as the rest are looking to barrel through bathrooms. This might be the first round that might go Wisconsin's way. You see a blast pack into the bathrooms here. Is he going to find one there? Toodles is going to find another though. That's 4v4 four four as Toodles goes to watch bathrooms. He's going to get blind. He's going to dodge the bullets. He's going to barely get out. He's going to take one oh. through the wall as well. Things are looking good for Wisconsin as it's 3-2. to two. St. Clair only down to two members right now. Caillou and it looks to be Toodles here in heaven trying to find any op shot that he can. Toodles doing so much with the operator this round, finding two crucial picks, but the Viper ult is gonna come down. Caillou is down here on this fade. Has to be really, really careful. Does get flashed out. It is not gonna be able to make it back into the Viper ultimate. Now it's a 1v3 for Seth. He's gonna find one, find two, and he still has an ultimate to work around. Does pull out the short he's waiting for the other player to push him. Finds one shot on him. He's gonna have to find one more. 30 HP and Wangle is gonna find him through the, uh, the smoke on very little HP, only 69 total there. If one more shot from the shorty came out there, Seth would have had that round, but Wangle will get the defuse here, will pick up the operator as well. So a great round for University of Wisconsin on a bit of a a bit of an important round there. They buying the operator, really going all in on that round. They're able to win, but even though they were able to win, they still have no money. Only the operator on Toodles. St. Clair, though, can buy up for at least a couple more rounds. So a great round there from the University of Wisconsin, but they're going to need to string a couple to bring this one back. For sure. St. Clair did walk into that not knowing that there was an op at play. Looks like they're going to have to walk into a couple of sheriffs, though. Only the op to deal with. So it's going to be a tough round for University of Wisconsin. But if they pull out some plays like that, things are going to be looking good for them. 
as Toodles is holding bathroom a very close angle with the off. He's gonna get found out by the Prowler and everything in between. He's gonna teleport out, get out safe, and try and take a higher position. That's gonna be the showstopper oh. coming up from Instinct, finding one, and There's he's one up more there. the other. Only one left in the back. They're <laughs> Hail Mary off, trying to make his way out, but he's not gonna be able to do it as Giza takes him out as well. That's leaving just two on the side of Wisconsin set to flood in, try and take it. Oh. Ooh, Wrangle with one good Sheriff shot, but that's not gonna be enough as there's two shots coming the way of Wisconsin. And the Saints taking that round. A very clean round from Sinclair yet again. They are able to use their ultimates well. That Razel just made so much space for them. And uh, they used the Viper ult the round before. Couldn't get it, but now they're going to have the Reyna ultimate, Giza. You want to see him pop it early because Reyna ult's not really an ult. You want to maybe sync up too much with your team. You just kind of want to use it and find those frags. So... Let's see how much work Giza can get done. Full buys for both teams, except Toodles. He, he will have his Operator, which is coming out from his ultimate. So very, very important round here. A lot of firepower available in this round. Let's see if Toodles can get an early pick here. He's going to look for the shot on a very tight angle, but neither of the Saints members want to push him here. Seth is going to walk up a little bit, and it is a B push coming out from St. Clair. So let's see how early they can pull the trigger on this play. It's Now they're going to go with the Stimmy Smiley throwing that one down and the rest of St. Clair are just running onto the site here. Breezy is able to somehow stay alive there on 37 HP. Does not die to the spray there. Smiley's going to pick him up with that. But Wangle finding two. Nice headshot. Euphonai finding one as well and Wangle with a third clip of the round. It's all up to Seth here in the 1v4. Is able to pick up one but this one is going to be very very hard to pull off. Is going to throw the smoke up into Hookah to make sure that nobody's there, that Venom might do a little bit of damage. There is one player on the side. There's a couple now, and D Young is going to drop down and pick up Seth. That is the second round for University of Wisconsin Stoughton. A very good round from them, to say the least. A great round. They did have the guns, and they did have the tour of force, but it seems like it just came down to a tactical misplay from the side of St. Clair. They just kind of full sent it into BU, and that's where all of Wisconsin's util and players were at. And a great play from Wrangle there, getting the double kill out from Hookah. Really put them in a great spot, plus with the Sky ult from that as well. It's just a powerful play all around. And now D Young also has a showstopper to use, so this next round is looking good for Wisconsin Stout if they can play their cards right. And it's going to be uh, a bit of a slower push from the Saints not playing the same aggressiveness they have the rest of the game because they're realizing that, you know, they could drop a few rounds here and there and it could become a very, very close game. So they're going to play it a bit more safe now as Giza's going to trade one for one with D Young here. And is there going to be a trade coming out from the Fade here? Let's see how that challenge goes in those bathrooms. There's going to be the shot coming out from D Young using that satchel so, so well to displace Caillou. Picks that kill up. And now it's a 3v4 for St. Clair College. Going to have to bring this one back. It's a great start for University of Wisconsin yet again. There's going to be the shot though from Inkslink to put it back in their favor. That nade should do a bit of damage inside that Oh, what a shot by Wangle actually gets two onto Instinct and Smiley and just puts this round back in the favor of University of Wisconsin. Such great shots there. Will Wangle be spotted through the wall? Seth will just jump down and that's going to be the third kill of the round for D. Young. Three to five game now. University of Wisconsin are really making this one interesting. Yeah, they just had a rough start. It's looking like as now that they have the weapons in the hand, they're putting up a great fight and I feel like I have deja vu as Wangle getting the double hookah kill clutching out the round this two, twice in a row is something to see indeed as you know it looks like St. Clair is going to run away with it here in the early game those there. first five rounds going to them without much contestation it's, it's <laughs> crazy to see that University of Wisconsin is able to match them They've just been on such a hot streak. I mean, Wangle has been playing amazingly these past few rounds, just finding some incredible shots and bringing the round back single-handedly for his team. So, well played to them. But it's going to be the Saints on the B push. Again, Wangle is sitting very, very close there on Sky and is going to be able to pick up Giza with the first shot of the round. I mean, St. Clair just aren't finding these early picks. They're going to be using some ultimates here to maybe push them out but no it's going to be a teleport play actually coming out they're going to look for a teleport and instinct stays behind maybe looking for one shot but toodles takes down smiley with our operator and just two very early picks for the side of university of wisconsin makes this round very very hard for st clair to win but 
anything is possible. Instinct does find one, but Dae Young finds the trade. There's Seb, gets traded out as well as Wangle takes him down out to 1v3 for Caillou. They have no idea where he is, so should pick up a free kill here. He's going to be able to find the second. No unfortunate timing for him there. Could not get the perfect spray control, but still very, very winnable for Caillou. This chamber is backing up with our operator. Caillou, Caillou does have the spike, could also try and make his way all the way over to B, but I think it's a little bit too late for that. He's going to peek up in heaven. He's going to take the teleport, actually, and should be able to get this plant down. Obviously, he has no idea that both of the players of University of Wisconsin are on that A site, but this plant should go down pretty easily, and he might be able to clutch up this 1v2 scenario. Yeah, he should have a good idea now that this is, they're going to have to rotate over from A, but taking the long sight line might not be good, oh, but he takes out the op anyways, and now it's a 1v1 scenario for oh my. Caillou, and he clutches it out with the 2k, and that's going to be a big round for St. Clair. That's a huge, huge clutch by Caillou there. I mean, it was just not looking good for St. Clair after they got picked up twice in the early going, but Caillou able to make the dream play there, gets the round win for them, and just such great play on that fade. That swings the momentum fully back in the way of St. Clair. And now they should, if they should win this round, they w could get the ball rolling very, very hard. Yeah, they are up against a team that can only buy a Bulldog, a Judge, and a, a Sheriff. So it should go their way. But with De Young going to get taken out. That was a showstopper. Oh, He's going to get a double kill there. He's going to keep going in right now. He's going to try to get the brimstone in the bathroom. But his teammate's oh. going to get him as well. Getting him from both angles there. A nice little pincer attack as they get the spike down. And it looks like a wangle and the rest of the team <laughs> are trying to make it on the site. But they don't have much to play with. But, you know, wangle already ha always has the clutch plays in store. Now Giza is out of his alt. It has run out. So it's all up. Viper here to make it on the site and try and defuse the spike. Up. Seth in the corner holding it down. Giza jiggle peeking this window here. Breezy, all he has is a sheriff though to, to fight them with. Poison Orb's gonna go up, they're gonna spray it down so he can't even jump in. Oh, Breezy's gonna find one though with the sheriff. Will he find another? No, Giza's gonna get the 3k and now Bomb is too far gone. That is going to be the round going for St. Clair oh, and Giza oh with the 4K. He didn't even have to do it, but just a style on them. Put the nail in the coffin, he gets the fourth kill. Giza, absolutely incredible round from him. After a bit of a slower start on this reign, I was 7-6. and six. Now 11-6, and six. great round from him. You're going to see him probably pick it up a little bit and just start going crazy on this reign as, you know, that's your only job to get kills. And... Giza showing us how it's done there with the 4K. Very, very well done to him and a nice round for St. Clair. Look at the buys of University of Wisconsin. It's just, it's not pretty at all. You have a, it does, it's just not pretty. It's you have a vandal <laughs> with no good. shields, vandal with heavy shields, a friend, a stinger. It's all over the place right now, but maybe they can cobble something together here like they cobbled together these weapons. Without a Ka doubt. Ka it's it's going to be a B push coming out here from St. Clair, but they're going to be running into Wangle. Have to be careful here. Caillou does take down Toodles early, but Wangle finds one instinct is traded out for that one. Giza able to pick up another kill. New phase is only here with this Sheriff. Can't stop this plan from going down. De Young, I want to see if he uses maybe the Ray's ultimate here to maybe try and swing the tides back in his favor, but Caillou is going to take him out very, very early, and Caillou taking up so much space. Going to take get taken down by Uphase though, great shot there. Seth is able to pick up Breezy, it's all up to this Brimstone, they know exactly where he are, he's also taking a bit of damage, so a 1v3 situation, near impossible with the clock ticking. Uphase has to move quickly, but you can see he's playing a bit passive, he's scared to pick these corners because you never know where these Saints members are, and Seth is going to spot him out, won't even take the challenge, will let just the rest of his team flank behind, and Uphase is going to find another nice kill for himself, but just too many members from St. Clair pushing him, but at the same time, and Giza, he would find the second kill of the round. Very, very well played from St. Clair College, as they now take an 8-3 lead on uh, in this half, and they're going to look to close this one out 9-3. Yeah, 9-3 curse, but people say you do have to win the third round for that to be true. But nonetheless, it's, it was looking like Wisconsin was going to make a comeback here, but the Saints said no. <laughs> We're going to continue our lead and continue it. They have, as they have just had so many dominant rounds in a row, three rounds in a row, just going oh. their total way. De Young going to use the showstopper, bring him down to half health, and gets the kill. It's going to be a nice Brace kill for Wisconsin. We're going to make this 8-4 in the half. 
as Giza pops the ult. He's rushing in on the site. Will he check the corner? No, oh he won't. As Wango gets the double kill again. Wango with the clutches. Third, gonna get three, four. four. Oh, Breezy. Oh, Breezy, never mind. <laughs> I got a little bit of confused there, but they're both shooting at him. But that's a flawless round for Wisconsin. You want that momentum Switching going into side. the next half. That's a huge round for University of Wisconsin. They're just able to stop St. Clair in their tracks and fully flawless them. Not what we were expecting, but a great round nonetheless. An 8-4 game at the end of the first half. A pretty solid half from both teams, I would say. Wangle having an absolutely amazing game so far. 14-9 on the sky, really picking it up. And on the other side, we have Giza top fragging on the Reyna. Very good games from both of them so far. But St. Clair were able to get the lead. Let's see how things go on the defense. On the defense, they're not really geared for that. All they really have to play around is the Viper and the Brimstone, possibly. But really, it's just the Viper that has any util that's there as defensive measures. So I think they're going to be playing very aggressively here in the beginning. We're seeing two already push up. Giza going to find one out of the gate. And that's going to be a nice big heal for him. But he was brought very low, so he doesn't get the full 50 shields that you usually see from the round one arena. Young trying to find the engagement. Toodles pushing up with the headhunter right now. Not going to come in too much, though. Steph over on B, just holding it down as it looks like the main push is going to be over on A. It will be over on A, but it is still a very, very slow push, and they're really letting the clock wind down here. St. Clair College are set up well defensively for this push, but the push is not coming yet. There's going to be the Viper wall, and that is their cue to go breezy. It's going to be the first one in line walking up here, but Giza is on this site with his ghost in such a good position. If he definitely smells them through the wall, but does not spot them out. But St. Clair are well prepared for this defense. They have at least three members, and the other two are rotating as we speak, but Giza finding another pick. is going to look to find a third, but... Yufei is going to pick him up, Inkstein going to take out Dion, and he's in the perfect One position to deny really. the resurrection here as Caillou around the corner is able to find a couple and give a very, very clean round over to St. Clair College. And just like that, 8-4 seemingly so close uh, in the scoreline. Once it's 9-4, you can start to see that gap widen as they're going to have guns in their hands. Probably make it 10-4. 10-4 is not looking great. But... That's just all depending if they win this round. If Wisconsin it will <laughs> manages to win this one out, they'll have a better chance going forward. But if they lose this one, it's going to be rough. They won't have much in terms of guns, and they'll need to win the round after this one, or else you know, they'll be nearly on match point at that point. So we'll see if they'll be able to clutch something out here, as they have bought a few sheriffs. Looks like D. Young is pushing up. B short right now, trying to go into Kuka here. Wrangle scouting out A main. Not going to see much though. Dog going to check U Haul. He's a hiding coyly around the corner right now. Going to push up and try and hold that a little bit closer, I bet. But for now, the Saints just playing back, playing very passive once they have these rifles. They know they have the range advantage, and they know they can end this quickly if they need to. They will try to do so, but the side of University of Wisconsin are going to group up for a B push. Uh, it's a, they have a nice advantage if they decide to go very, very quickly, but they're going to choose to play it. So let's see if Saints can pick up on it and maybe rotate someone over. You can see the fade coming across there. Seth is going to be the first line of defense here. He's going to find one. Those Viper is so, so good. Smiley takes down Toodles, and they're just spraying through these smokes. They're able to do so much damage. Caillou is going to find two yet again, and it's all up to Breezy for it feels like the fifth time at least up in a 1v5 scenario. Is going to find Caillou, but Giza is going to trade that one out. Still a nice kill for Breezy. That's going to be one gun denied at least for University of Wisconsin, but that's basically the only positive you can take out of that last round for them. And this is looking to be Wisconsin's last stand. If they don't win this one, their economy is going to be in shambles. Caillou having to opt for the Sheriff, though, as they did. Managed to make that expensive round for him, at least. And he does not have a rifle going in to this next round. Seth and Smiley sticking with the Spectre. He's going to play close, going to play fast. That's one of the guns that was good at running gun. They tuned it down a little bit, but it's still pretty effective. If you want to play fast, you lose. And here we are <laughs> going. <laughs> Very aggressive here down A main. And now Toodles gonna check E Hookah here. They're gonna back off. They're gonna guard it. I think they hear the big push coming from B Long. There. There's the no Molly's gonna slow that one right down. 
when you have no flashes on your sky, it makes entering so much harder. I think we're going to see the TP play come out from the side of University of Wisconsin. Let's see if they decide to just flip the map. But look at the members of St. Clair. They're ready for that teleporter play to come through. They're waiting for it. That Sep is sitting here with the Sheriff up in the hookah. Nobody's really pushing him. And I think it will be a teleporter play for sure. As you can see, the other two members rotate over to the middle of it. There it is. Let's see if Inkstein can find anything. Finds one. He's going to look for the second. But Breezy is going to take out Giza as Inkstein is able to find the second. There is one more in there. He's going to throw the nade, but not the best nade there. He's going to get peeked from the side as Wangle is able to take him down. 3v3 scenario. Two members of St. Clair are in the spawn of University of Wisconsin. That's, it's going to be just Brimstone on the site. And let's see how this one's going to play out. Smiley only has a specter though. Left. Can't really challenge the Vandals just yet. The plant will go down, but the flank from the two Saints members here is going to be massive. It doesn't seem like University of Wisconsin have any idea. Just the chamber sitting up here, but Toodles is not going to be looking on the right side. He will get peeked. He will get taken down. That's one. Now it's a 3v2. Seth finding yet another one as Wangle takes down Caillou, but Smiley will be able to take down Breezy there, and that is going to be the round for St. Clair College. And basically as close as you can get to taking the map. Yeah, it's going to be nearly game now as it's not looking great for Uni University of Wisconsin Stout on weapons. As that was kind of their last hurrah there. They're going to buy up, buy the cheap guns, try and play for next round, but that next round will be their last that they can pot. This round is going to be the last one that they can lose. After that, it's going to be match point for St. Clair all the way through, and they have a large point gap to close. Yeah, a bit of a rough second half for University of Wisconsin. Haven't been able to pick up a round just yet, but they'll have at least a couple more chances at it. 11-4, let's see how Inkson decides to play. This one's going to fly right in, but there is just nobody here. It says A push from the side of University of Wisconsin. They should try and go pretty quickly here. Giza playing very, very aggressively. Is going to find two on the spray down. Beautiful shots coming out from him. And now it's a 3v5 scenario. Breezy is going to look for something on the Viper. But Sep is able to find one. Finding another one through the smoke. And Giza finding the third. St. Clair College with just two members able to take out all of University of Wisconsin there. A very, very quick round for them and it puts them on match point. Yes, University of Wisconsin have a full bye, but even if they win this round, they kind of have to be flawless for the rest of the match to bring this one back. Yeah, they have to be flawless indeed. This is it. This is the Wisconsin University of Wisconsin's last stand here for at least this game one. They're out of money, they're out of time, and they're out of rounds to lose. Yeah. This is it. If you're going to start winning, you better start winning now. It's looking like they're gearing up for a split push once again. and going to try and take it slow now that they have the rifles in the hand. He's a holding on back. Oh but with goodness. instant going so quickly, getting 2k right out of the gate. It's not looking good for them. It's a 3v5 scenario all the way through. Breezy looking to get spiked, but that's also spiked down for St. Clair as they all flood in to hold the spike down. Make this a de defensive play for themselves. Smiley's going to try and clear it. Molly doesn't check the corner though. Breezy's going to take a one, but Instinct going to get the third K there. And Kyle going to get one as well. And now it's a 1v4 scenario for Toodles. He goes in, in the Molly, in the smoke. Through everything, through the fire and the flames and the smoke, St. Clair manages to win it all in game one. A great map there from St. Clair College. A couple of shaky rounds maybe in the first half, but second second half being absolutely perfect. You could see Instinct and Giza on those duelists topping the leaderboards. A great map from Wangle, but the rest of the Saints were just able to do so, so much. You could see Smiley 6 and 7, but he does have those 14 assists. It was using his utility perfectly alongside Caillou and, and Seth. So a great first game from St. Clair College, and they're going to look to keep the ball rolling up into the second game. Yeah, it was a good game all around. They played very well. They had their moments on the side of University of Wisconsin, the Saints. They just managed to have it all locked down there. They had so much teamwork, so many good tactical plays there, and they were just in a flow state, it seemed, getting so many multi-kills across the board. And their teamwork, I must applaud that once again. Everybody had their angle. Everybody had their back covered or was watching an angle that the enemy could approach from. They were ready for anything, and as you can see, they, it pays off to practice those teamwork plays. Without a doubt, it does, and they showed their dominance on display there. In the second half, they turned it up maybe a little bit, made sure they didn't drop any rounds on defense to maybe 
tell the other team that in the second map it's not going to be as pretty. They're going to go pelt to the middle. And I think we might see some maybe funkier team compositions maybe here in map two. We see our, th our Saints spice it up quite a little bit. Do you think maybe we'll see something unusual? Like yesterday we saw a Gecko a couple times. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Yeah, it depends what our map is. We don't have the maps right now, but yeah. I could see a Gecko being played. Gecko is a very strong initiator, but overall, I think we're probably going to stick to the to the more basic chance that we've been seeing. We're seeing a lot more Fade being played on the side of the varsity yeah. team, which is interesting because we haven't seen Fade in quite a while. I feel like it used to be very popular, and then there was a period in time where it was maybe mainly just Sova that you would pick, but I think with the extra double duelist play, having Fade is a little bit more of an aggressive play, can open up those uh, uh, more aggressive plays, lock them down, blind them. Absolutely. But uh, overall, they just played amazingly. Yeah, and they're going to look to play amazingly in game two. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back with map two right after this short break. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Game 2 of St. Clair College versus University of Wisconsin Stout. Seabal College North. It looks like St. Clair is starting on the defense, I believe. Yeah. And University of Wisconsin Stout is starting on the attack here on Ascent. And after a very overwhelming victory from St. Clair College, Wisconsin Stout did have their moments, so they're looking to have a little bit more moments again. It looks like they have very similar team comps, but... They did pick a deadlock on the side of 
Wisconsin Stout, which could be interesting. Deadlock did get a few no buffs here and there, so maybe this is what they need to make this work. Maybe University of Wisconsin just have some sort of strategy for this game with Deadlock, and look, they're on to a site very, very quickly here. They're going to get the plant down, and that is going to be a great start for them. D. Young getting a couple through the smoke as someone was swinging their knife at someone there, made a bit of noise maybe, and we were just shot down. Now to 3v5 for Sinclair College, and it's looking like a very strong start to the game for University of Wisconsin's Calcep, taken down to 11 HP, and this round should be as close to a lock as it can get. Let's see what Giza can get down here. They're gonna drop down, find one, but it's not able to find any more. Dion finding three in this round. Yufei is also picking up Smiley there, and it's gonna be all up to Sefri on 11 HP. He's gonna get taken down, and just like that, in the matter of seconds, University of Wisconsin are able to take the first round in a very domin dominating fashion. Yeah, what an overwhelming start for University of Wisconsin Stout. They are finally having a, a good attack round after the last game. I was a little bit worried going into this game, but it looks like they're going to take the lead here as they do buy the more expensive guns first and then get the first round under the belt. It's looking a little bit of an uphill battle right now for St. Clair. They're buying the sheriffs. They're going to try and clutch this one out, but they're really playing for the next round. Yeah, I mean, but you can never look away from the Saints when they have these sheriffs. They could find these headshots. Inkstink playing a bit aggressive here early on, but Caillou will go down. Inkstink gonna look for the shots there. We'll find a body shot, but needs it to the head to take down Breezy there. One goes behind it. Smiley looking to pick up that sheriff, but it will instantly get taken down by De Young, and he's just sitting down mid here, finding three, leading his team forward. One the plant remaining. here should go down as U-Face takes down Seth. It's looking like a very, very flawless round from University of Wisconsin style so far. It's just going to be instinct up mid here with the Sheriff on the jet, and I highly doubt he's going to be able to bring this one back. Oh, De Young <laughs> was just a, such a star player so far, getting kill after kill. It's amazing to see. He's looking amazing right now. He's going to try and do anything that he can. But De Young with the 4K in the second round, a flawless round from University of Wisconsin Stout. The Saints are not looking good right now, but they are going to be able to buy Vandals here. They might be able to bring this one back. Great start for University of Wisconsin here. Only one round, one kill in two rounds for Sinclair College. Not something you see too often from any team able to hold them down like this. But I mean, the attack from Wisconsin have been so, so well played so far. Seven kills for De Young. I mean, he's just playing on another level right now. If he can keep this up for this whole map, will be a big problem for the side of St. Clair. Look, the knives get popped out here, but that's a great KO knife. We'll shut those down for a little bit. They won't be able to push through instantly, but De Young, as soon as this ends, will be back in there with the knives. You can see the jet dashing in into the KO there. Will be looking to find the kill. They're on top of each other. Smiley's able to pick that one up, but Yufei Yuf is able to find two quick headshots there through the wall. Inkstain's going to be able to trade that one out. Now it's a 3v3 situation. There is a Cypher that has walked all the way into B. Breezy getting so much space here. Could be a crucial position for him here as the rest of the team looks to rotate over. It looks like Caillou might have a hint of what's going on. He's rotating back over to B. He feels like someone's on there. His sixth cent is tangling, but does he know the Cypher is just around the corner? I don't think either of these players knows what's going on. Caillou gets one, though, and that's going to be spiked down. He's going to guard it with his life, but Toodles is going to take him down anyways. And now he's going to find another kill as well. It's a 1v2 scenario for, for Toodles here. He gets the plant down. The time is running out. He's just grabbing guns, and they get the easy cleanup here. Now it's 2-1. Now St. Clair College is looking to be in a better spot as they take their first round. They were able to pick up the round, St. Clair, but they did drop three members, which is going to hurt them in the next round. University of Wisconsin playing very well so far with this map. So uh, Saints are up for the challenge. Hopefully they can really go on a nice run defensively themselves. Looking at the scoreboards, you know, it's pretty even up there at the States. Nobody's really fragging out this game like they were last game, but D. Young has been doing so much. Didn't get a kill that round, so, so far, every kill he's not gonna, every round he's not gonna kill, and they've lost. So, you know, he's gonna need to be fragging there on that jet too help them out. Yes, the sample size isn't too big, but let's see what the push is looking like. It's like a default push from University of Wisconsin. They're not really full pushing a site like they did last time, but Seth with this judge was ready for a B push, but it's going to be a very slow and methodical push coming out from University of Wisconsin. 
Angle looking to push up through this trees here. Caillou holding it down though. Gonna send out the flight. drone, get a little bit of info. He's gonna meet the omen right around the corner. Oh. He's gonna take a fight right now. He gets the tag though as well. Trying to shoot him through the wall, but Wrangle manages to win that one out. And now it's looking like Yeezy's gonna take one out. Spike down, and retaliation 4v4. Spike down. Instinct. Caillou, they're gonna try to get a kill there. He gets one. And that's the young out of the game. That's one of the best players out of the game on the side of Wisconsin. That's why you gotta find one instant, gonna find another. And they're synced up right now. And new phase down to the last one. Not no spike in hand. Gonna be taken down by Smiley. A great round for St. Clair. They're able to get a pretty clean round, only losing one member and just picking apart the side of UNC Wisconsin. Now they won't have money for a buy, so this should be another locked up round for St. Clair College. And this is where they need to start to get the ball rolling and really go on that big run like they did last game to take a nice first half lead. Yeah, now everybody's got guns in their hands on the side of the Saints and it's looking like University of Wisconsin Stout here. It's not looking great on the economy side. We're gonna have to save this round. They'll play for next. And that is going to be a marshal in their hands. Pushing down to a mid right there, just mid right now. Take these long angles, try and play the marshal. Wrangle pushing up close into trees with the sheriff. They take an engagement here on the side of B short right now. Here right now. He's gonna find one though. Wall, that's a nice headshot. Breezy just barely gets out. 67 health to his name. It's not looking great. Wrangle gonna get taken down by Smiley as well. The Saints just picking them all off one by one. The rest are in mid, only one over on A. That's gonna be U phase. Breezy pushing all the way up mid, but someone's there watching it. Giza a little bit of sleep at the wheel, misses the shot, and now he's back in the action, trying to push him back, trying to stop him from taking any more ground as they do have control of mid right now. They're gonna find one. Now it's a one between him and Toodles. He's taking the shots, doesn't find it. Just looking at each other behind the wall. Who's gonna take the one shot? He, Giza finds it with a 3K, oh, yeah, but mid. Uphase is gonna shut that one down. 1v4 scenario, and they all flood in. Kai is the one to seal the deal there. Saints taking the lead now, 3-2. to two. Solid round there from the Saints. Everyone getting a bit of a, a kill there. So a nice start uh, for them in this little bit of a comeback to say, could say that I guess they were down two yeah. rounds, but they've turned it around well. They've won three in a row now, and this round's gonna be the one that's really gonna either make this half a really big scoreline for St. Clair, or it's gonna be a really tight map. So let's see if University of Wisconsin can really pull an attack together here. They're gonna be going for that B rush, but Giza is ready for it. He's setting up all the Killjoy utility to make sure they can just run in. It's gonna be a mid. B push, a very, very interesting play here from University of Wisconsin. Let's see how St. Clair decides to defend this one. They do have nobody on that B site, so Breezy could here. just make a lot of space here. Inkstein's gonna get spotted out by that drone. They know exactly where he is. The flash is gonna come out from Smiley, but Yufei is able to find one. He's gonna get turned out. Caillou finds the Toodles. He's gonna take down Smiley, however, and these gunfights mid are just crazy at the moment. Giza is gonna take out Toodles now. It's a 3v3 yeah, situation. Yeah. They're gonna look to push through B, but the kills your ultimate's gonna come down immediately. But still, the couple members of University of Wisconsin are able to get onto the side and get that spike down. Yufei is gonna come back here as well and defend it with his teammate in the back line here. Caillou has to be very careful. There is a member of Breezy actually is right behind them. He's able to find one. Giza's gonna trade it out, but now St. Clair in a 2v2 scenario. Gonna look to retake here. Instinct and Giza. And the wing up have to check their corners for sure here. Instinct just kind of flew in there and did go down. And Wangle's gonna find Giza as well. So an important round for University of Wisconsin as they make it 3-3 and make this half a competitive one. Yeah, it's looking like this is gonna be a much more competitive game going forward. St. Clair. Not looking great right now. They are able to buy rifles as they do did have a little bit of a lead going. So this is really the decisive match for Wisconsin Stout. Will they be able to put St. Clair in a losing position? And it looks like Instinct is gonna opt to, to, to buy the op right now as they're just trying to get any advantage they can get over Wisconsin as Wisconsin Here. is proving to be a force to be reckoned with right now. Now yeah. Toodles trying to push through mid. Seth watching him like a hawk. Instinct pushing in, but he's being very aggressive with the op. Oh, hit the between foot. the legs, maybe hit the <laughs> foot. And now Smiley gonna find it though. And they're gonna get out of there. 
the rest of them are just in disarray right now on the side of Wisconsin. They don't know which angle to push. They're split pushing, but DeYoung finally gets an opener there. Gonna take down Smiley. Kai gonna pop the alt, try and find anything, and Giza gonna find one. Find much of the alt. Instant gonna find another with the op. And Ufe is gonna find one though in retaliation. Knives are gonna be popped on the side. Oh, that's fine. One. Will he find oh two? That's goodness. gonna be a quick kill on the side of St. Clair College. What a play by Instinct. Great shots there from Inkston. A couple of whips maybe coming up from Toodles, but the nice reaction time there to flick onto the other enemy after getting the first kill. Unfortunate timing for Inkstink there, but just played it as well as possibly. Got the knives reset on the first person and is able to get the double kill to finish off the round. A very important round there for the Saints to bounce back from after University of Wisconsin had such a good attacking round the round before. They don't have money to buy any guns, so it's going to be the Saints with the money advantage. Yet again, Inkstein is going to choose to dash into the corner with the operator there. He's going to be able to stay alive, which is all that really matters. And now it's going to be a slow mid to A push, it looks like, from the side of University of Wisconsin. But they don't really have the guns. They kind of need to use their men advantage while they can. Inkstein is going to find a pick mid onto Toodles. This is not the person you guys want to be peeking in this open ground, especially when you have a pistol against an operator. Inkstein just holding down this corner. As soon as Breezy decides to swing out here, he will go down. And right as I said it, it happens. Seth gonna take down Wango as well. Now it's a 5v2. Seth is pushing through with Smiley here. 5v1 situation. It's just a jet that somehow snuck into the spawn of St. Clair College. So let's see what De Young can get done with the Sheriff here. He's gonna go look towards middle, but look at all the Saints. They're just running around the map looking for this jet, <laughs> but Inkstein's running around with the short. He should be able to find him around the corner here, and there is gonna be the third kill of the round for him. Flawless round for St. Clair College, and they take a 5-3 lead and a half. Yeah, something interesting I'm finding is it looks like St. Clair is going for a little bit of an analytical play style, because they do have a rough time in the beginning, but they managed to figure out what makes the enemy team tick eventually like they hold it down like they lose a few rounds it seems and the enemy team gets into a groove they start doing the same thing over and over and then St. Clair manages to figure out what they're doing uh, analyzes it and builds up a counter attack and it works to a great degree of success as we're seeing here especially with instinct with these op plays he's landing such good shots and he's been really quick with the knives too and as we saw in the last game, the shorty, just a nice good sidearm to have when you have to take those close range engagements. Yeah, a bit of a closer game here though. Only 5-3 St. Clair are going to look to win a couple more rounds here in string. Uh, a nice little streak here to finish off the halves really strong and uh, take a nice lead into the second half like they did last game. And I would say they play a bit more aggressive on the attacking side compared to their opponents. And they like to play the attacks very, very quickly as University of Wisconsin. Other than the first round, they've been very, very slow with their attacks. They haven't really pushed the pace like they would want to. So uh, once St. Clair get a chance on this attack, I'm sure we're going to see very, very quick pushes and not a lot of time to react and make good decisions. University of Wisconsin Stout taking a break here is probably a good idea because Saints are very momentum based. But overall, it's looking like anyone's game right now. Yeah, it's going to be an A push coming out from the side of University of Wisconsin. A very, very slow push though with all five members. They're just praying that someone from the Saints pushes them. As Seth is going to be in a monster position here. De Young's going to take down Smiley, but look at Seth finds two on the spray down. New phase is going to find the trade. So that is going to be the A side fully going over to the side of University of Wisconsin. Look how they're starting to play this one. They're going full 100%. Caillou with Odin is going to look for the spray throughs through the wall. Won't be able to find much. The Wangle is going to go for that peak. What a shot there from Wangle. Takes down Caillou 2v3 here now. Inkstain's on the flank with that operator. He's trapped. What he can find, Giza just cannot get through here. Will look to do so. And Instinct on this flank with the operator will have to go absolutely massive. Does he see that omen? No, he does not. The smoke does come out. So some shots go down as well, but now Inkstain's gonna just walk into the side. Does not spot any enemies. Does spot out Toodles, finds one. Giza now in the 1v1 scenario will throw down the alarm, but has no idea where the enemy is. But he is behind the boxes. Will drop down, will look hell. There's nobody there. Giza does get stunned up and will get shot in the back. You you phase will find that kill for the clutch and University of Wisconsin Stout after the timeout able to pick that one up and that's a huge round for them. 
It's a huge round. St. Clair still able to buy some competitive guns here. They are decent on cash right now, but this is going to be the round. If they lose this one, they'll be in the losing scenario. It looks like on the side of Wisconsin, the Jet is looking to use the knives here. They're opting for the shorty just as their sidearm. That's all they're going to spend their money on. Use the blades to carry on the rest of this round. And on the alt economy side of things, University of Wisconsin Stout is looking pretty stacked. They have four way. ultimates on the board with a 1 1 point away. And now Instinct trying to take out that security camera with a shorty. He's not going to be able to do that. Looks like it's going to be a B push coming out from the side of the University of Wisconsin. Caillou holding down mid right now. They're just listening for any pushes that they can hear. John Bolt going to go out. Tag out Breeze. He's going to have to push all the way back right now. Kiza holding it down as well. Instinct holding down mid. The blades are walking it down mid right now. De Young trying to be very, very careful. Doesn't want to get shot out right now. He at least wants to find one pick with his ultimate. And now Instinct is going to rotate all the way back over to A. As they think the push is going to go that way. And Smiley going to lay down some coverage. Use his ult of his own. Try and shut down those knives. And that's going to be a major player of the game right now. All he has is a shorty to his name. Jules is going to take down Smiley though. So he needs to get the res. Seth going to get one in retaliation. It's a 4v4 right now. And Smiley, no one's going to be there to revive him. Seth going to find another. And now looking for the op as the rest of his team picks them all down and it's going to find one as Seth finds three and Caillou finds the other a flawless round from the Saints and now the University of Wisconsin Stout well that was a good round after that break not in a great spot now no the Saints were able to collapse from everywhere and they had enough members and enough time to really slow that push down and not let them just get onto the site immediately. So they caught them in the cross. Uh, like as they're walking to the site, they were basically getting shot. They weren't really set up uh, to defend the spike. So a great round from Sinclair College. University of Wisconsin choosing to take their time might be biting them a little bit here because if they just went, I feel like very, very quickly, they would have a big advantage here in this game, but they just choose to play a bit of slow. Seth is gonna find a pick very, very early. Instinct's gonna get tagged through the wall, it looked like. and. It's going to be shots coming out from Seth, but him and Giza Spike able to pick up mid. those two picks down mid. Now it's a 2v5 for the side of University of Wisconsin. They are on a save round, so they don't really have the artillery flawless. to keep up with the Saints. And you could see how quickly that flawless round happened. 7-4 lead for St. Clair College. They look to take this last, last one and take a very nice lead into the second half. They have to make this 8-4. They're going to be looking very good going into the next half. Well, University of Wisconsin Stout needs this extra win. They don't want to lose this one. They don't want to start off the next half in the losing yeah. position as this is the last game they can play. Or they can't lose this one. If they lose this one, that's going to be it. St. Clair College is going to take the entire set home. Right now, Wangle is looking like he's charging up. A flash, Smiley charging one up as well. He's going to send one out. And the Saints are going to go on full aggression. De Young will be taken out, and Giza going to find another. That was an amazing play here. Giza going to go try and route the enemy over on A. All three of them are just flooding in on the site as it looks like all the Saints committed over to B. Michael going to set down the spike. Now the smoke is up. That's getting a little bit of coverage, stopping the push. But now it's down. Who's going to find one? Is he going to find one retaliation? Poodle's going to spray him down through the. <laughs> through the floor as Instinct finds a double kill. And now he's trapped in Deadlock's ultimate. No one's there to free him and he gets taken out. It's a 2v1 scenario. Poor Instinct, man. But Giza's gonna be on the defuse here. It's not planted for hell, so Tudulu's gonna have to move up and he's gonna get taken down. That is gonna be Giza with the defuse and Smiley able to take that round for St. Clair College. 8 4 lead. Bit of deja vu from last game. Switching Same sides. score line, it feels like. So let's see how the second half goes. Last time, St. Clair in the second half went flawless, didn't drop around. This time, they're on the attack side. So let's see what they are going to do. Looks like they're splitting up, maybe choosing to go up mid, which is something they like to do and take all that space is the play they're going to go for. Yeah, this pistol round, the Saints. They really want to win this one because if they win it, they're in an amazing position, but they do have some trouble winning the pistol round sometimes. So we'll see if they'll do any better this time. And it looks like there's a little bit more investment coming out from the side of University of Wisconsin Stout as they have a sheriff, they have mo mostly ghosts. Meanwhile, St. Clair opting for a bit of a more util-based approach. He's going to send out a shot dart, do some damage to Giza, but it's going to be all right. Try and take down that deadlock shield as soon as they can. Instinct getting flashed out with all the util right now. 
Oh, it's not looking great for him. He's in a bad spot, but the the young there just holding down trees. Does he know that there's three pushes? He misses a shot, misses another, preps the dash. Will he get a kill? He finds one, dashes out, and he's out of his team. 4v5, St. Clair not in a great spot. They're trying to find a retaliation kill. They can't do it, though. They're just out of there. They exfiltrated amazingly. How are you going to fake the plant? Go for the aggressive team. They're just going to play as Instinct also falls down. 3v5 right now. Is it going to make that a 3v4, actually? And now... Caillou trying to loop around the back, trying to go all the way over to B as they know all four of them are over on A right now. They're going to try and use the element of surprise, try and get the I spike down boss. and get the time ticking. Cover going out. Yeah, 40 seconds now for University of Wisconsin to come back. That's a nice little smoke there, a one way. Let's see if Seth can find some big shots no here. More. Caillou will find one with the shock Ending dart. Attack. Great lineup from there, and that's going to give them a lot of intel there. They are pushing onto the side. Wangle's going to find Giza. Kaiyu's going to find one as well. 2v2 scenario here. It's all up to Seth. And Kaiyu, they know one. There's to the side. No, Breezy finds him. Now, nice shot by Kaiyu there in the 1v1. He's going to be able to clutch this one now. I don't know if he has any bullets left. He's going to be dodging the pistol shots, taking no damage, but Breezy eventually will take him down. And that's going to be the round going here to University of Wisconsin. Stout, a great start for them in the second half. <laughs> Guy there tried to stall it out, did some hardcore parkour, but it did not work out for him. And now, it's looking like this might be a little bit more of a competitive half. This 8 5 is quickly going to turn to 8 6. Now, then you'll just be two rounds away. But if St. Clair manages to clutch up this second round, it would be devastating on the side of University of Wisconsin Stout. But it's all ifs right now. We'll have to see how this round goes. We saw how it went last half. University of Wisconsin were able to take the first round and took the second one as well. Let's see if our Saints can really bring it back. They have three sheriffs, two classics, so they're not investing too much in this one. There's going to be a bit of a lineup. Uh, I think that was a KO knife. So yep. getting some intel out, knowing exactly where the enemies are. They know that nobody's up here, so Inkstein's going to move his way up the map with his KO. Him and Smiley gonna look to do some damage here. Wangle's gonna throw out a quick smoke. Yufei's sitting with that Bulldog there. Giza can't really do too much on the attack here. Two members on B site for the side of University of Wisconsin. Inkstein looking for a shot there, but he's gonna be in B main now. Let's see if the Saints can capitalize on this really good positioning they randomly got. Toodles does have the air. He's gonna look for the wall banks here, but Giza is able to f hide inside of the smoke. Still three members. Oh, Caillou oh, somehow no. got so far up into the spawn of the University of Wisconsin, but Giza's gonna find one. And that should be the plant going down down B. It's gonna be just Yufei's here all on their lonesome. Let's see how the Saints choose to attack this one. They should have at least a couple members dropping in, but Yufei's is gonna find one. Breezy's gonna find Instinct as well. Smiley will find the count to Yufei, so they do have a Bulldog on this site. The plant will be going down. Wangle will throw out that flash but we'll, ha we'll have to be careful about peeking it here. Seth is gonna have to find the shots with the ears. They do find one. A bit of an interesting play there from De Young. I think that was more of a bait type of play than really going for that one. The flash pop is gonna come out here. Seth has the Aries and I believe they have a Bulldog on the KO as well. One they see one. Remaining. Breezy's finding his third kill of the round. Let's see if Smiley can clutch this one up. He won't be able to and Wangle will pick that one up. Another round for University of Wisconsin as they make it an 8-6 game. Really good spot right now. St. Clair needs to win a round and soon. This University of Wisconsin Stout might equalize the rounds and start running away with it if they aren't put in check by them. And right now, finally, St. Clair does have the money to buy some good guns. We're seeing Giza opt for the Odin, which is a very interesting pick. Spending all his money in one place. And all the rest of the team opts for the Vandals. And it's looking like on the side of University of Wisconsin Stout, even though they won that round, they don't have much money to play with. Yeah. Just buying shares, buying cheaper guns. So this one's looking like it's going to go over the way of the St. Clair College. Yeah, this is a round Saints should definitely be looking to take. And this is kind of how it happened last time. Look at those shots through the wall. Giza finding a bit of damage on the face. Buying the Odin just to break that little deadlock ability but now Giza is gonna solo have two players just paying attention to him as the rest of his team choose to go through mid and right into B again as Inkstein is gonna find a pick onto Toodles. Wangle knows that he's being looked at but he's gonna find the shots onto Inkstein with the Aries crouching down under his cross here they're great peak by him but the Saints are rushing their way onto this B site 
a phase. It was on one HP, does get taken out by the shots. Dark Caillou is gonna look for the shots through here, but Giza with an Odin now has the crossfire set up and is in a beautiful position. Breezy does find Caillou, however, so it is a 3v2 scenario as of right now. Breezy's gonna have to do a lot of work here with this Vandal, but that's a great one way smoke as Seth takes him out. 3v1 scenario, they have no idea where Wangle is, though he's able to find one with that Ares. Gonna look for a second here. Will he be able to find it? But the flank is coming out from one of the members of St. Clair without Odin. Smiley's able to spot him out though. Will get taken down a little bit by Giza with his Odin on the flank. Scaring him a little bit too much. Smiley's gonna peek out, find the one tap onto Wangle and St. Clair College. Finally able to pick up their first round of the second half and give themselves a 9-6 lead. Yeah, 9-6 right now. They are able to buy guns once again. Seth, a little bit worse for wear economy wise, but they'll be Good, I'm Thank sure you. soon enough. Gonna get a little bit of a friendly buy there from Giza. Now everyone's armed to the teeth on both sides. We're seeing the exact same buy. Four Vandals, an Odin, it seems to be the play on this map. The Saints gear up for an overwhelming A push. They're gonna be met by an overwhelming A defense. It looks Standing like three of them are all waiting on A. The my ultimate. Gonna go out so I'm gonna pop the ultimate. Smoke's gonna go down from Omen. That's gonna open up the site for them. And now Breezy gonna try and hold this one down with the smoke being where it is. It's not gonna be easy. The door. He's gonna find one up top. EMP gonna find another up top. Seth gonna use his. Oh, <laughs> nice. now you're gonna get an ultimate. You find D Young there. Gonna get the plant down as well. Things are just going great for St. Clair College as Wisconsin is struggling. Oh! Anything. But Toodles finds one through the floor there. He's gonna look for another, but it's gonna take him out. 2v4 scenario right now happening. The net can be deadlock and get removed there. One Smiley enemy remaining. Smiley finds one. It's a 1v4 scenario for the side of Wisconsin Stout. It's all down to Breezy. He's gonna look to save this gun. He does not want to take the 1v4 at this point with the spike being so close to detonation as it is. He's gonna try and get out, save the Vandal for next, try and play a little bit smarter. Great round there from St. Clair College, able to get onto that A site with zero resistance. Get on there, get the spike down. They have the Odins, a couple of them I believe, so when they're just holding down those sight lines, once they make all that space, it's very, very good for them. And they take that round with Rel TV, is now three rounds away from taking the map and the match. And it's a save round for the side of Wisconsin. Kind of, because Breezy is able to save his Vandal, but the rest of the team won't be able to buy anything. They're super, super broke. So this round should be going over to St. Clair College, and that round will basically be putting them in a match point position. The round after that is going to be the big important one. But let's see how this one goes. St. Clair are going to choose to full on rush this B site. They know they have the weapons advantage and they're right in there. Who's on the site? It's Instinct. He's going to be able to find one. Going to look for the second. Well, find it right there. The plant should go down. Three members on that A site from the side of University of Wisconsin. We're going to see Marshall there trying to find a pick, but Caillou is able to take that Wangle step, able to take down D Young and it's all up to the Cypher on the flank here. We'll find one Freezy, we'll find a second as well. Nice shots from him, but might be a little bit too late. They'll spot one more out, but Seth will find those shots and St. Clair College able to string a few rounds together and take an 11-6 lead. Yeah, 11-6, things are getting risky on the side of Wisconsin Stout. They start winning again and winning quick as they don't have too many more rounds to burn. Do have a full buy once again. Four Vandals and Odin seems to be the play. Let's see if it works out for them this time. And now St. Clair, I think, is realizing going for the hyper aggressive play is what they need to do. Just funnel into sight and take the picks where you can. And the chaos, it seems to be where they thrive. He's going to get ready to spray down that deadlock wall that seems to be there every single time. There it is. Sprayed down a fraction of a second. Now there's blood on the site. There's the jet going loud, going proud. Going to try and the pick, and he does right off the bat. We have flashed out. Going to try and take oh him down the backside. Goodness. That's going to be a double kill for instinct. He knows one more is back there. He's going to prep him the dash. He's going to go into the he gets the third kill with Kai getting the fourth. And now it's a 1v5 scenario with Breezy trying to hold it all down for oh his team. But that's going to be it. 12 to 6, and that was the last money round for them. It's yeah. not looking good unless they can find a thrifty here. It's looking very, very, very rough for the side of University of Wisconsin. They've put up a good fight in the second map, able to get a string a couple of rounds together here and there, but the Saints have just proven that they are the superior team on the day, and 
They are going to be looking to close this one out. There are still a few weapon buys from University of Wisconsin. They're not fully out of it. They have three ultimates as well, so they could still pick this round up, but it's going to be a full B rush here coming out from the side of the Saints. Let's see how it goes. Deadlock's going to pop that one down. It's going to get destroyed immediately. It's going to be the Knives for Inks. He's all the way in the back line. Nice little turn there. He's able to find one. Kai is going to be able to trade out Yufei's there. Toodles finds one, but Kai takes him out with a pistol somehow. No, that's a 3v2 scenario for the Saints. Giza is reloading his LMG right in the middle of the battlefield. Seth will take him down and Kai will find a third with a pistol yet again. That is going to be the game and that is going to be map two. Going over St. Clair College, a clean 2-0 sweep, 13-4, 13-6. So a nice performance from them here and they'll be going, they'll be the, the winners <laughs> against yes. University of Wisconsin. As you can see, looking at the scoreboard, the Saints all played amazingly. Seth, yeah. like a little bit le off his game, but I think that's just Yuffie's and Breezy playing amazingly. I think University of Wisconsin Stout has given St. Clair College uh, the biggest run for their money out of so any far. team so far. As we get further and further into this bracket, the teams are going to just keep getting better and better. But St. Clair, at the number one spot right now currently, is looking to just keep on bailing through and keep on defending. And overall, it's been an amazing cast. What a day we've had. I'm excited to cast more Valorant with you, Theo. It's always a good time. Thank you for joining me here on the cast. Do you have any closing thoughts before I close it out? No, I mean, just congratulations to the Saints. You know, starting off the season strong, looking very, very dominant, picking up of where they left off last semester. And yeah, as you said, I can't wait to see them play the longer we go into this tournament. It's one of the best teams in collegiate, well, the best team in Canada by a long shot. So hopefully they can continue their dominance. And I just can't wait for the rest of the season. Yeah, but make sure to follow the Saints socials. We should have that graphic up sometime soon. But also thank you to everybody in the back right now. I think it's Amanda, Tommy, Karen, and Phil. They're holding it all down, making everything run so smoothly. It's smooth, smoothly. Smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's uh, getting to the wee hours. But anyways, thank you to our sponsors, Tim Hortons, HyperX, Subway, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. We'll be back on T Monday, tomorrow. I believe. Tomorrow, yes, <laughs> yeah. with another stream. And we'll have that all information all on the Twitter. Make sure you follow the socials. Once again, thank you very much. And good night, everybody. Thank you.